In this video we're going to see if this if an ordered pair is a solution to an equation we'll do these two examples okay so we'll start with example one and we're just going to look at you know this equation and this ordered pair and is that a solution to the equation so for for fun just press pause and see if you can figure out how you would do that so you're given an ordered pair you're given an equation how would you tell whether the ordered pair solves the equation or works in the equation, let's say. Any idea? Okay, well, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to go through it now. So, an ordered pair is x, comma, y, right? It has an x value and a y value. So, what do you think you do? Just plug the y value in for y and plug the x value in for x and see if it works, right? So y is 11 and x is 2. So we're going to plug 11 in for y and 2 in for x. And the equation will now read 11 equals 7 times 2. 7 times x. 7x is 7 times x, right? 7 times 2 minus 3, right? So we have 11 equals 14 minus 3. And that makes 11 equals 14 minus 3 is what? 11, right? So that did work. So is this ordered pair a solution? The answer is yes, it is a solution. This is a solution to this equation. Now, can you do this one? Is this ordered pair a solution to this equation? So let's, I'll just write down again just for fun. y equals 7x minus 3. See if this ordered pair is a solution to the equation. Press pause and do it yourself. I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we're going to plug y value in for y, the x value in for x. So the y value is negative 24, the x value is negative 3. So we have y equals 7 times negative 3 minus 3. And that makes negative 24 equals negative 21 minus 3. Okay. So negative 24 equals and I have negative 21. If I subtract 3, I go down to negative 24, right? Negative 21 minus 3 is negative 24. And this does indeed work again. Here's a smiley face. Is this ordered pair a solution to this equation? The answer is yes, because we ended up with the same number on both sides. In other words, this ordered pair solved the equation, okay? So can you press pause and do this one? Is negative 4, negative 2 a solution to this equation? Press pause and try that yourself. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So in, with this ordered pair, we have an x value and a y value. x is negative 4 and y is negative 2. I'm going to plug the x value in for x and the y value in for y. x is negative 4 y is negative 2, so that will give me 3 times negative 4 minus 5 times negative 2 equals negative 2. 3 times negative 4 is positive times negative gives me negative 12. Negative 5 times negative 2 is negative times negative positive 10. Watch out for that. Negative 12 plus 10, that's 12 negatives and 10 positives makes 2 negatives. Negative 2 equals negative 2. That solves the equation. Is this ordered pair a solution of this equation? The answer is yes, it is. And then do it for this ordered pair, 3, 2. So the equation is 3x minus 5y equals negative 2. See if 3, 2 is a solution to this equation. Press pause and try it. OK, I'm going to do it now. So this is your x value. This is your y value. You're going to plug the x value in for x and the y value in for y. You hope you press pause and try this yourself now. So we got 3 times 3 minus 5 times 2 equals negative 2. 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. If I have $9 and I subtract 10, I go into debt. I'm in debt by $1. 9 minus 10. 9 take away 10, you're, in, you're, you're at negative 1. So negative 1 equals negative 2. 
Oh, that's a contradiction. Negative 1 does not equal negative 2, so both sides are not the same. Sad face. And is this ordered pair a solution to this equation? The answer is no, it is not. Okay.